Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. In the last episode, we explored more of Innsmouth and heard the fish tale from Zadok Allen kind of explaining the background of the place. And we went to go talk to the manager of the variety store, Thomas Waite, and accidentally unleashed a beast in the attic who was apparently Thomas's wife and her his daughter Ramona's mother, who then ripped her apart. So, good times. Thomas has been taken away by the local authorities, but not before he gave us a key to the variety store here. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot because apparently we have to go open a safe. It's unlocked. So let's close that just because the last time we walked into a store, we had to block stuff. And... Everything looks decent here. And maybe... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hi. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. <laughs> My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to rally. Oh, what? When you find him, give him this. Oh. He'll know it's from me. Look, like she was about to shift me. Okay. Well, she's gone. Let's see what she gave us. A photo of Brian Burnham with R Ruth Billingham. There's a message on the back. It reads, I love you, BB. Oh, how sweet. Now, here's the safe. And from what I believe, if I recall correctly, the combination is in Thomas's diary that we got from upstairs from the creature's room. There you go. Diary of Thomas Waite. The last entry in the diary is from today. It reads, Another sleepless night. I lay awake listening to the movements of that thing that I married pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon, and damn their oaths. And damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No, burning him. Him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave, abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot, and start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea of what she will become. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe, in that order starting clockwise. It is though I am trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she is my daughter and I can never harm her. She is blameless in all of this. When the time comes, Innsmouth will be the only place for her, and until then, I must stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is essentially the premise of this. That creature upstairs, that was a deep one, one of Lovecraft's most well-known creatures. They need breeding stock. So what they do, especially in Innsmouth, 
those esoteric the uh, oaths of Dagon. Essentially, these people, these creatures, marry and breed with the humans, and they spawn humans. But after a while, around the time of puberty, they start developing what is called the Innsmouth Taint. And over time, they slowly start becoming Deep Ones themselves, and that's how they reproduce. So there you go. Now, the combination was... Her birthday gave me such joy, so much that I used the month, date, and year as the four-number combination. So that was yesterday. Uh, let's see what... What is the day, though? February 6, 1922. Night. Hmm. Okay. So, if today is the 7th, February 7th, 1922, Ramona's birthday, she's 10 years old, so it would be... 2, 6, 12. I believe. Let me double check that. Yep. Just to make sure. 2, 6, 12. Two, six, twelve. Okay. We'll give that a shot. Alright. 2, 6, one, two. I must have made a mistake. Okay. Well, maybe it's the starting clockwise. Let's go back to zero. That's not right. Okay. Starting clockwise. So, let's do two, six, one, two. Hey! Yes, that's it. There we go. We just did it the right, the wrong way. Hi. And an elder sign to protect the place. I don't know. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words Book of Dagon. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and save the game here. Because I think things are about to get very bad very quickly. Let's check the book here. Oh. The Book of Dagon. The book is handwritten and heavily bound. Its cover is embossed with, embossed with the title, The Book of Dagon. It seems to be a religious work, translated from a series of ancient tablets. It tells of an entity called Dagon, apparently some sort of sea god, and his consort, Hydra. Hail Hydra. They are the greatest of an underwater race called the Deep Ones, who worship them with sacrifices and other rites. The descriptions of the sacrifices are particularly shocking, and there are details of magical spells and other strange rituals. If this incredible manuscript is to be believed, their history stretches back beyond the remotest human origins into unthinkable remote antiquity. A few individuals are so incredibly old that they have seen continents rise and fall, for they do not die of old age as humans do. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are such individuals, and are greatly revered for their age and size. Their greatest awe, however, is reserved for a dark god named Great Cthulhu, who is said to sleep and dream in the underwater city of Riley. The book seems incomplete. The last chapters tail off as though the translation has not been finished. Good times. Do we have the book right here? Okay. Now, can we go ahead and get out of here? It won't budge. Okay, we can't go through the front door, of course. Ooh. There's a med pack. That is most appreciated. What the? Okay. We're hitting that with our head. I was wondering what that was. Is anything going to jump out at me on my way out of here? I'm waiting for it to. It's getting late. I better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Okay. Now I already know what's going to happen, but let's go ahead and talk to uh, the bus driver. Where'd he go? Hmm.
Well, we're on the right track. We're seeing predator vision. Ethan Joe. Did you hear Waits killed his own daughter? They don't flesh and blood? Damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I see Nelly dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. Aye. But Birch reckons she were ripped open. Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Great. Could that be the strange fella you brought in to Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Hi, Joe. Stop bothering me, stranger. Awesome. So we can't leave. So let's talk to Char to Gilman. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That that sounds just swell. There, sir. It's starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Hmm. Charlie. Can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Hello, officer. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Okay, so the key is right over there from your visions. And the hotel is close by. Okay. It's the key to the back office. Well, let's go ahead and take the back office then. It's unlocked. And close the door. Nothing of interest. Okay. Oh, lovely. Boy. Shells. Whoa. Hi. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Hell's bells. Oh, spinal cords and everything. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. That's not good. The I wonder what secrets okay. this book holds. Let's not. We're getting insane here. Let's chill. Thank you. Can I at least take the hatchet? Okay, let's close the door here, and let's check this. Post-mortem records. She were a lively one and no mistake. I kept her going as long as I could for the music she were making. Such a pair of lungs. Never she were done, I found those lungs on her, on her look as good as they sounded. Maybe I'll keep them. Her liver was particularly sweet as well. I never much wanted to go to New York, but if they all talk as much as this one, I reckon I ain't missing much. Soon as he woke and saw the knives, he was away talking and pleading and bargaining for his life. All them words made me dizzy, and I had to take his tongue first to stop him. In future, I'd better wait a while after they eaten dinner, for his innards stank awful. The bones was nearly all out before he died. I was real careful around the arteries, so he didn't lose any more blood than could be helped, and he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as if he tried to work his arm, but with the bones gone, there weren't nothing it could do, just twitch. I took it out the strap so it could move free, and I watched. The new gag worked much better, and he was more quiet than the last. Ugh. Okay, so, Gilman is, uh, a little bit creepier than seems to be the rest of them. If you just follow me, sir, 
I'll show you to your lodgings. Uh-huh. I heard there was a killing over at the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. You wouldn't know anything about killing, would you, Charlie? Oh. Alright, where are we? Okay. Hi. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. Uh. And keep down the racket. Our sinsmith are quiet fall. Uh huh. Well then, it won't budge. Oh, okay. Now, this is going to be really important in the future episode. Now, we are going to. Now, I'm going to be. I think I may be cheating a little bit. But we definitely need to do this for the for the future. There are gonna be a lot of people coming in here wanting to kill me tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare myself. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't budge. Okay. It won't budge. So let's go ahead and get ourselves situated here. Oh, is it not going to let me do it? Oh, awesome. Okay. So it's not going to let me do it until they come in and try and kill me. Now let's go ahead and close the door. And definitely lock it. And there's no save point here, unfortunately. Nothing of interest here. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we got quite the action scene coming up in the next episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll pick up next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and you find get a little bit of background on what, how exactly twisted this town is. If you like the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time for the fun. Later days, everyone.